If Moshe Rabbeinu made mistakes, how can it be that the Rebbe didn't? I understand that this is a follow-up to a question that I was asked earlier about whether a Rebbe could make a mistake. And I answered no, and I of course did not make that answer up. This is an answer which the Rebbe gave to people who asked him that question. Now let me qualify it a little bit and explain perhaps a little bit more philosophically the issue. This is hard for us to understand and relate to, but it's nevertheless true. And as I explained it in the last segment, when I did that other part about the story with Rabbi Isaac Holman and other magician, every creation is fallible. The way Hashem created things, they're limited. And they're not perfect. The idea that a tzaddik achieves a level that makes him different than that is because of his connection to other neshamas. In other words, if you will, you could say almost that there's two ideas. There is the person, the Rebbe, and there is the Rebbe, the Rebbe. The person, the Rebbe, is obviously a very great person, but he's a person. The idea that by a tzaddik, by a Rebbe, by a neshama clawless, it's impossible to make a mistake, that's not him. That's the b'shem kol yisrael that we say every morning before l'shem yichud. That's the koyach that he has from the klal. And the klal, the collective of Jewish souls, is godliness. And the collective of Jewish souls, which is godliness, is perfect. And this is the concept of a tzaddik, of a Rebbe, of a neshama clawless, specifically after he becomes a Rebbe, as opposed to before, that this idea of being, so to speak, infallible is a koyach that's not from himself, it's a koyach that has to do with the klal, has to do with the people to whom he's connected, and ultimately he's connected to all the neshamas of his generation. So the question was asked of the Rebbe in these words, if a Rebbe is infallible, why would a Rebbe ever erase anything? And of course we know, and we've seen in the Rebbe's own writings and by all the Rabbeim that they would write and correct and write and correct and rewrite. By the Alt Rabbi, you know this, by the Tzemach Tzedek. I think I saw someplace from Chesidim that the Tzemach Tzedek said the Mittel Rebbe is even a Kasve Rebbe. The Mittel Rebbe was the Tzemach Tzedek's father-in-law, an uncle. The Mittel Rebbe, my father-in-law was a great writer. Was a Kasve Rebbe, a Shreipto and Mekt Kemelnisht. The Mittel Rebbe never erased anything. This is the way the word goes. But we know from the Rabbeim that they would write and they would erase and they would rewrite and so on. So somebody once asked this question of the Rebbe, if they're infallible, why do they have to erase? And the, the answer that he gave is, it's not a question of a mistake, but there's no limits to growth. No matter what level a person is on, they can be in a level above. And when you talk about the mistakes that Meshach Rabbeinu made, in quotations, and you should know when you learn Mamari Chesidus, the person that they use the word toss for is Yitzchak. Yitzchak made a mistake about his assessment of Esav and Yankov. They used specifically the word ta'a. He made a mistake. When you're talking about tzaddikim of this caliber, of this caliber, it's a different kind of a mistake than a mistake that you make or I make. Because when you and I make a mistake, it's an error. In other words, we didn't want to do it. When we did it, it was based on a fault or based on a flaw. When somebody does something wrong, and of course later regrets it, it's not the meaning that they later regretted it because they discovered later on that it was wrong. It's that when they did it, it was wrong. They either were not paying attention or they were misinformed. But a mistake means that when it was done, it was wrong. By a tzaddik, the concept of a mistake is that there's a higher truth. What they're doing is also true. And there's a higher truth. And there's no limit to higher truth. So as far as this is concerned, there is always room for growth and improvement. And on this basis, like I said, the Rebbe explained this to somebody who asked him this question directly. This is why a Rebbe erases and rewrites. And the same is true, the mistakes in quotations that we find in Torah about Meshe Rabbeinu, like Chazal say, Bolo Klal Kas, Bolo Klal Tos. He got angry, so he made a mistake. And you have so many special sikhs of the Rebbe where the Rebbe explains the nature of the so-called mistakes of um, Meshe Rabbeinu, that they were not mistakes at all. In other words, certainly Meshe Rabbeinu would discover later that he should have done something different. But at the time that he did what he did, it was the correct thing to do based on what he knew at that particular time under those particular circumstances. <laughs>